chemistry tough. <laughs> So glad it's fall break. How's your day, son? It was okay. It's Sid the Science Kid. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's Gerald. Yeah, check out my moves. <laughs> so there's a science convention. You might want to be interested in going in it. Um, I have a date tonight. Really? Well, yeah. sounds pretty cool. Hello? Yeah. Wait, what? She just broke up with me. Well, now you're available. Yeah, great. Welcome to the second annual Group 13 Chemistry Festival! Man, we really had a great turnout this year. Well, it was better than last year's at least. So, uh, why don't you scoot up? Alright. Now, the elements in group 13, boron, aluminum, gallium, indium, and thallium, are all free elements, which means that they're compounds in nature. You can't find them pure. And, uh, and also, they're very scarce in nature, except for aluminum, which is the most uh, abundant metallic element out there. Um, also, the, uh, all the elements in group 13 have three electrons in their outer energy level. Now, the elements in group 13 are metallic and are shiny, except for boron, which is a, which is a solid metal. And, uh, and the elements in uh, group 13 are chemically reactive at moderate temperatures, except for boron, which is, uh, which is very hard, and uh, unlike the other ones, which are soft, and has a very high melting point. So here's a video, now that you know uh, stuff about group 13. Here's a video that will tell you about what the elements are used for. 